I walked around the crater rim, really hoping there would be some larger bombs. Where are you now? Uh, I went past Rays, there's nothing past Rays. I've come back to where the previous bomb was, over. Okay, so you're in the, uh, down the slope towards Rays. This was the part of the crater edge closest to the lava lake, so there was a good chance to find more lava bombs. It was the coldest night of the whole field season. We really felt it. Niall, you reckon this one's a better one? I think we'll get going on this one. Yep. If we can't go to the lava lake, we'll wait for the lava to come to us. And here's a beautiful bomb. Uh, just erupted from the bowels of the earth. I was so happy when we found this bomb, and I hoped we'd reached it soon enough that it would not have cooled too much. When a lava bomb flies through the air, it forms a crust on the outside that helps to insulate the interior. So the bomb should still be very hot inside. When uh, I managed to find a decent bomb and, and we could get the probes in, uh, I was very happy. I mean, I, I have to say I'd somewhat given up hope that we were going to get anything decent or at least throwing bombs over the crater rim. It was great to have that moment to, to uh, break into the bomb and, and stick the thermal probes in and, and start to collect the data. That, uh, that really made the season. Yeah, let's try knocking another hole in. Of course, we know that it can explode at any time, but that doesn't make it any less of a surprise when it does. It was very exciting the other night to, to run up and see whether actually any bombs had come out or not, and then to find one lying there still steaming. That's, that's great. I mean, that's what we're down here for. We knew that the bomb might have already cooled too much to give us an accurate measure of the lava lake temperature. That's 612 degrees. Either way, we had a great chance to test our idea. What we want to do is, is try and record the highest temperature we can <coughs> to try and find out what the lava temperature is. 803 is the max. Okay. It was hot, but not hot enough. We know from lab experiments that the lava temperature has to be at least 950 degrees Celsius. Oh. It's really red in the hole. The center of the bomb was still glowing. Well, it's very exciting always to see a geological event kind of before your eyes. Uh, and uh, we haven't had a lot of bombs lately, so it's great to get this one. Uh, they're really beautiful. Golden, golden lava, when it's very, very fresh. And um, it's, it's red hot inside, so this is a very fresh bomb. We got to it pretty quickly. Well, you can see the gooey centre, yeah, just about. 